guys, I'm Krista Hodges, Troutman Classroom Coordinator and Education Outreach Coordinator for the Dan River Basin Association. So what we're going to do today is we're going to hook up a chiller to your trout tank. What you have done already is gotten your trout tank and your equipment and all your supplies in place. And if you had six feet of countertop space, then you should have the chiller on the countertop beside your tank. In some cases, we have had to put the chiller under the tank in a cabinet or something like that, and that's okay, but the chiller works best if it's on the countertop beside the tank. So you have everything else in place. You have your water filter hanging on the back of the tank. You have your air stone inside the tank, and then you have your tubing from the air stone to the air pump behind the tank. Make sure that you do not put the air pump inside the tank. And then you have your UV sterilizer hanging on the back of the tank for right now. And then you have your water pump in place right here next to the chiller as well. So everything is ready to go. The only other difference would be you would have a piece of insulation up under the tank. And then after everything is hooked up, you can put insulation around the sides and the back of the tank. All right. So the supplies that you need for today You'll need a flathead screwdriver, scissors if your tubing is not already cut, and then possibly needle nose pliers to stretch out your tubing. And if you don't have the needle nose pliers, you can stretch out your tubing using hot water. And then you'll also need hose clamps. These are essential to use to keep the hose in place so you don't have any water leak. And then you'll need a little zip tie to put your tubing in place when you get everything in where it needs to be. So usually, the longest piece of tubing is what goes from your pump to your chiller. So since these have already been pre-cut, I believe this is the right piece. So, go ahead and get your hose clamp out. It's best to just go ahead and put that on the tube before you put it in place. Okay, so I've got the um, water pump out of the tank and I'm getting ready to put the hose on there and tighten up the hose clamp. And it doesn't have to be super tight, you just need to get it tight enough to hold the hose in place. Just be careful putting the water pump back down into the tank, you don't want to crack the bottom of the tank. So, when thinking about the um, hose orientation, you need to remember the way the water flows with your system. The water pump sucks the water out of the tank. So it's going to go out of the tank through your tubing and into the chiller. So it needs to go into the end port on your chiller. And usually the ports are labeled. So just tighten it up. And wherever you have your hose clamps, that's where you have chances of getting leaks. So once you tighten it up, and you turn your water on and everything, you turn on your system, um, just check, double check the leaks. That's tight enough. And then your other piece of hose will go from the out port on the chiller to the bottom of the UV. where it's being cooled and then it's going to go into your UV sterilizer to take care of any of the bad bacteria or your algae. And this is usually the hardest part for getting your tubing on. And like I said, if you need to, to uh, stretch the tubing a little bit, you can heat it up or you can use your needle nose, nose pliers and kind of stretch it some. If you have these 
black pieces they just screw out you don't need hose clamps here they just kind of screw out a little bit and butt up to the tubing to keep your tubing in place and then your last piece of tubing is going to go from the top of the uv sterilizer back into the tank Screwing this little black piece back out to butt up to the tubing. And then your UV sterilizer hangs on the back of the tank. It does not go in the water. I'll just go ahead and do that. And now you have everything like you need it. You're, you have a recirculating system. Water's going out of the tank here and coming back into the tank here. And that's how you complete your tubing setup for your chiller.